<laughs> what is going on friends time to start a new vlog will here orlando based flight attendant hope you guys are doing wonderful we are about to head downstairs to work one leg to denver let's go Welcome to Denver and the not so great side of this job and that is waiting for hotel shuttles. It doesn't always happen but when it happens it's very annoying. We've probably been sitting here for the last 35 minutes. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. We landed at like 9. Between the planning, walking here, and waiting for the shuttle, it's been a whole hour. I just hope the shuttle shows up soon because I want to go to bed. I'll give you guys an update when we get to the hotel. We made it to the hotel. Now I'm going to say something. It's when I ask a question and the hotel people answer a whole different thing than what I asked. <sighs> anyway, made it to the room. Went ahead and ordered food because we get a dinner voucher and we also get a drink voucher. So all of us, the entire crew, collectively agreed to get food. We all order our food and then came back so that we could then go downstairs and just order our, our drink. And yeah, we're going to be here for the next 20 hours or so. Let me show you the room real quick. Desk, chair, here's where I usually put my luggage. Nothing going on on that side. We have a king size bed. I think on this side I usually put like, yeah, like an ironing board and like iron. And then we have like condiments and water. And here is the shower. I'm going to get out of this uniform and go downstairs to meet with my crew. I might have to go to the convenience store to get some water because I don't have any water. You guys know that I drink a lot of water. So I probably need to get like three bottles at least. Would you believe me if I told you that I am very, very tired? It is sometime after midnight, just getting back. Went downstairs and I met with my crew at the hotel bar and we had a drink. We ordered food, it wasn't really what we were expecting, so we walked to one of those food chain places that have late happy hour and we sat at the bar. After we left the restaurant, I told them, hey, I really need to go to a convenience store to get water, but you guys are more than welcome to the hotel, like please don't go with me. The convenience store was like right next door to the restaurant, so <laughs> we went and I didn't get one, but I got two. Three, four things of water. I don't think you guys realize how much water I drank. I'm here to give you all the information about today. Our block for today was two hours and 12 minutes. Our credit, which is what we get paid, is two hours and 23. Our duty was three hours and 30 minutes. We got here around 9 p.m. and then obviously you guys knew about the whole waiting for the hotel and all of that. I really got upset because when I made the phone call to the hotel like they explained that it was like a third party and all of that but it wasn't what was said it was more so like the way she said it. It was basically like you either wait or like you figure it out. That's not necessarily how it works you know like we have a contract with your hotel. Like what do you mean and I was asking something and then she was telling me a whole different story. So it, it was just a lot, but that's now in the past. Our layover here in Denver is 20 hours and 30 minutes. And then tomorrow we were two flights, but I'll tell you about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to brush my teeth, go to bed and call it a night because I had a long day. I spent the entire day walking around all St. Louis. I think I ended up today with like 19,000 steps. I'll see you tomorrow for another day. <laughs> Good night. And I know you got it. It's my friends and welcome to the next day on our trip. About to hit the gym and start a day, so let's get to it. Just finished my workout and I spent the last hour and three minutes here. I started doing weights and then I moved on to the cardio portion to finish up the workout. It is now 9.24 in the morning. I think today we're gonna do something different. I know that we've been coming to Denver a lot because I don't know why when I get a layover, I somehow get the same layover over and over and over again. And I feel like we've been coming to Denver for the past four weeks, like every week, 
maybe I am going to downtown Denver and the only two things that I would like to do is have brunch and coffee. We have the free breakfast here, but honestly, I don't want to eat that anymore. I feel like it's not even that great. So I'd rather just go for brunch, get a coffee. I ran out of food anyway, so I don't really have anything to eat. Forgot to tell you guys, but last night when I came back, I was going to tell you this, but I, I forgot. We were at the bar, so we're sitting, and all of a sudden there's a group of people and they order beers, and they put olives in their beer, like three of them. And then two other were like, can I get pickles in my beer? And like by my second round, because I only have two beers, I asked the bartender when I ordered the second, I was like, can you put some onions in my beer? Because at this point, like, why are we putting pickles and olives and all these things in beer? What we heard was that it gives the beer a pickly flavor, but I'm like, how can you taste a pickly flavor? The olive hasn't even been in that beer for two seconds. Like, what are you talking about? I don't know, it was the strangest thing I've seen. I don't know how someone messes up beer like that, but that's just my opinion. If you like olives on your beer, fine, but a little questionable. No! <laughs> Let's wipe down everything and Let's go to the room. You can't really tell, but let me see. Let's go to a regular mirror here. This shirt that I'm wearing is three extra large because I was always in the, I wanna size up, I wanna size up so I feel comfortable. And look at this thing. Sometimes oversized clothes is good because it makes you feel comfortable, but look at this difference. Like, very different. <laughs> I am all done, my room is ready, my uniform is ready, I am all packed up. Right now we're heading over to downtown Denver, see what place we end up going for brunch. We're gonna have a good day. When we come back, we're gonna have to sleep because we're working a red eye tonight. I'll tell you all about that when we get back. Let's have a good day. Let's go. Sun's gonna rise. to snooze AM eatery. It is located inside Union Station. I added my name to the wait list because sometimes it is a long wait time even though it's just one person. So I added my name to the list like probably 45 minutes ago and it said that it was only a 25 minute wait. So hopefully my name's still there. I'm just gonna go check in now with the host and hopefully there's a seat for me because I am starving. Yeah girl you're so overwhelming. Right now, I am between the sweet potato bacon smash up or the protein veggie egg white scramble. Kind of want like a mix of both, but anyway, already order a cappuccino and then we'll see for which one I decide. All right, guys, order a cappuccino. Only seven subscribers away from reaching 3K. So I ended up going with the plant veggie and the chicken patty. When I tell y'all, it is like a million degrees out here in Denver. Jesus, and it was like 68 when I left the hotel. Anyway, just finished having brunch. The scrambled that I ordered had every single vegetable you can think of. And it was just egg whites, and then it was like a chicken patty. I'm gonna go for a walk around downtown, and then I think I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel so that we can sleep. During a horrible time, it is one o'clock right now and my van is at 5.25 p.m. So I was hoping that I was in bed right now, but that is not the case. Now I have to walk like 15 minutes, I think. It's a Union Station. And then I'm gonna run, hop on the train so that I can go to the hotel. It's gonna take me a whole nother hour, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get to the hotel until at least 2 p.m. I don't know, we'll see. Made it to Union Station. Let's see what time we make it to the stop. 
to walk to the hotel. So it's just stressful. I made it on the train. This is crazy. How did I lose track of time like that? I was done with breakfast at like 11. And then I went to a store because I wanted to find a pair of jeans. And then I went to a Target. <laughs> and then I went to Chipotle to get food for later tonight because I won't have time at the airport. And all of a sudden when I look at my watch, it's 1 p.m. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Speed walking, y'all. So tonight we were deadheading from Denver to Las Vegas and then we're operating Las Vegas to Orlando. I'm deadheading on my airline tonight. So no running to try to get seats at other airlines. And we should be getting to Orlando around 6 a.m. So it's gonna be a long night. Our report time is a lot earlier than it was last week, so. Just arrested someone. Well, that's not fun. Good thing that I took care of everything in my room. So as soon as I get to my room, I'm just gonna hop in the shower and go to bed and wake up around 4.30 and then have about 55 minutes to basically get ready to head over to work. But that's what we're doing tonight and then we'll be done with this week. This trip total ended up being four days. I've been splitting the, the trips because I feel like it's a lot easier for me to edit and a lot more fun for you to watch. But yeah, um, let's go to the hotel. Made it to the station. It is currently 1.38 p.m. It should take me about 15 minutes to walk over to the hotel. So let's see what time we actually end up getting there. I'm ready for a nap. I'm ready for a shower and a nap. Hot in this room and I dropped the temperature to 66 I don't know why it's so hot in this room this hotel alone like when you go outside the rooms it feels like hell I don't think the AC works in this hotel at all let's talk about what you guys want to hear how much we're working today what's your duty day how much we're getting paid today we are dead heading from Denver to Las Vegas oh man we're delayed I didn't realize they did switch our aircraft so now our aircraft is coming from Cancun and it's just running behind schedule once we get to Las Vegas we have a two hour two minute sit from that two hours and two minutes really I think we only have like an hour and 15 because 45 minutes out of those 202 is boarding time we'd be getting to Las Vegas around 8 33 p.m. and then our departure to Orlando is at 10 16 getting to Orlando at 6 a.m. Our block, which is what we're actually working, is four hours and 44 minutes. Our credit, which is what we're getting paid, is six hours and 47 minutes. You're probably wondering what's the difference there. Well, on the first flight, we're deadheading. We're not working, but we still get paid as if we were working. Duty today is 10 hours and nine minutes. So we're gonna be working all night. I don't know if I also mentioned that I am the most senior, which is crazy because I've only been here Next month, it'll be three years. A lot of you guys have asked about my uniform and if there are other uniform pieces that I can use for the summertime. If I am required to wear the soft shell vest at all times, I am not required to wear the soft shell vest at all times. I just don't like walking around without the soft shell vest. I feel like I'm naked. From time to time, I do remove it because it gets very hot. I don't always have it on. Like when we're boarding, 717. Oh my God, um, I have to be downstairs in like three minutes. Because of our current tattoo policy, I have to wear a long sleeve at all times. We do have short sleeve shirts, we have polos, but rules are the rules and we gotta follow it. So that's why every summer I gotta suffer a little <laughs> when it gets too hot. Gonna grab my things, get out of here, and let's go back to base. It is currently 
7.06 a.m. These red eyes are not it, y'all. I think what really did it is our report time was a lot earlier today than it was on the previous trip. Our inbound aircraft was a little delayed coming in from Phoenix. So we ended up leaving Vegas about 45 minutes later than we were supposed to. So that also played a big part. We're also on a 321 Neo, which last time we were on a 320, so less people. Good thing that these red eyes are on the last day of the trip and after I work the red eye, I have a day off. So I'm not struggling as much because I do have to report then on my next trip at like 6.45 a.m. And yeah, <laughs> overall it was a good flight. We had 214 passengers. Our flight time was four hours and eight minutes. I am obviously going to get ready to go to bed. But before I go to bed, I actually have to do my bidding. Bidding closest today and I don't want to go to sleep thinking that I have to wake up to do my bidding. So I'd rather shower, do the bidding, and then basically just go to sleep and wake up wherever. I'm not going to set up an alarm. The bidding packet is not looking great. I go back to like somehow the uncertainty that I have when I bid for my June schedule. And so I am a little bit concerned. I'm not going to get trips like I did this month. But we'll see. I'm going to try my best and just try to put as many trips as possible, even if it includes red eyes, like I'm gonna have to because it's just, trends are not it. I think I am going to say goodbye now. I hope that you guys had fun coming to Denver with me and overall, I hope that you enjoyed these week's vlogs. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I am going to see you next time for another adventure. Take care.